Hey there viewers, do you like eating herbs and spices? Even if you don't, today's video will make you want to try them. Nearly half of all Americans are affected by high blood pressure. It can lead to health problems. For instance, high blood pressure significantly increases your chances of getting heart diseases. But the good news is that you can control your blood pressure by making changes to your diet. In today's video, we'll be talking about 9 herbs that lower blood pressure. Can basil and thyme help? And what is cat's claw herb? We'll be talking about all of these and more. Number 1. Parsley Do you like parsley in your pasta? This popular herb from the Mediterranean has made its way into a lot of cuisines in the US, Europe, South Asia, and the Middle East. But why is parsley so important? How does it help? Its nutrients help keep your blood pressure low, especially vitamin C and antioxidants, both of which help to reduce blood pressure. The specific antioxidant is cardinoid. Researchers have found it to be favorable in reducing blood pressure, bad cholesterol, and the risk of heart attack. Parsley reduces the blood pressure by acting as a calcium channel blocker. What does this mean? This means parsley relaxes and dilates the blood vessels. So go all out and sneak parsley into your daily diet. Enjoy some slow roasted salmon made from fresh parsley and oregano. It's awesome. Parsley and celery salad isn't bad either. Add garlic marinated white beans to it. Do you eat parsley? What kind of food do you like having with it? Share your preferences with the Bestie community in the comments below. Number 2. Basil that's right, it's already very popular in alternative medicine thanks to the powerful compounds it contains. There are various types of basil, but the sweet kind wins hands down. It has a special plant-based antioxidant that experts say lowers your blood pressure. There have been studies on this plant-based antioxidant. It's been found to produce an effect that dilates your blood vessels. This is how it reduces your blood pressure. Experts call it the natural calcium channel blocker effect. But this is far from the truth. All it does is prevent the calcium flowing in your blood from entering your heart and arterial cells. As a result, your blood vessels dilate and relax. In turn, you have low blood pressure. Alternative medicine loves sweet basil for several other wonderful health effects. For instance, this medicinal herb can help with stomach spasms, intestinal gas, fluid retention, and head colds. In fact, several cultures use it to treat warts and infections. What are you waiting for? Enjoy a freshly brewed cup of basil tea in the morning and start your day on a good note. Number 3. Chinese Cat's Claw This interestingly named plant is, in fact, a vine plant that can grow up to 30 feet tall. It belongs to a family of plants more commonly known as the coffee. Traditional Chinese medicine recommends using cat's claw to treat a variety of illnesses. If the name cat's claw grosses you out, call it by its other name, Chotiko. This herb has various compounds that act as a calcium channel blocker to relax your blood vessels. Not just this, the cat's claw herb also stimulates the production of nitric oxide in your blood vessels. This will keep you relaxed. Number 4. Celery Seeds Celery is healthy for you, so many weight loss diets and detox plans recommend using celery in your salads, juices, and smoothies. Did you know its seeds are just as good for you? Celery seeds have lots of great nutrients. You get calcium, manganese, magnesium, iron, and fiber. It's even better in monitoring your blood pressure and keeping it within a healthy range. Experts link this effect of celery seeds to the compounds found in them. These compounds produce natural calcium channel blocker effects that keeps your blood vessels relaxed. There's another reason celery seeds are wonderfully effective in lowering blood pressure. They have an excellent amount of dietary fiber in them. Several researchers have found high fiber diets to be strongly linked to low blood pressure. Not just that, celery seeds have other wonderful health benefits as well. It's widely believed they promote red blood cell formation, support bone health, and improve blood sugar levels. Wondering how to eat them? It's pretty easy. Simply sprinkle them on your favorite salad or smoothie. You can include them in your pickle season mix or barbecue seasoning mix. Even a hearty casserole would taste better if you mix in a few celery seeds while cooking. Before we move ahead, here's a video you might like. I mean, herbs are good, but what about nuts? Do you know which ones to eat and which ones to avoid? Check out our video on the subject. Number 5. Garlic Most people have a love-hate relationship with garlic. It's a spice with a strong smell and flavor. Most people know garlic from eating Italian cuisine or the simple garlic bread you get from a pizza place. But it's used in more foods than you think. It's pretty good considering how healthy it is for you. Garlic has sulfur compounds that offer a variety of health benefits. One of them is lower blood pressure. One study even found that the blood pressure reduction effect produced by garlic was similar to the effects of medications. So add garlic to your soups, noodles, and pastas. Just carry Listerine or gum for after you're done. Number 6. Cinnamon 
this sweet spice can transform the taste of whatever you add it to. Sprinkle it on your cupcakes and other baked goods to give it more flavor. Cinnamon is amazing for your health as well. Research suggests it helps lower blood pressure dramatically. A study showed the effects of cinnamon were greater when participants took it consistently for 12 weeks or more. So what are you waiting for? Sprinkle a bit of cinnamon powder on your coffee or bake some cinnamon cookies. Number 7. Thyme Another flavorful herb with truckloads of health benefits. If you don't like thyme much, now is the time you forge a friendship with this plant. It lowers your blood pressure and blood sugar levels, increases blood flow, and reduces inflammation. Thyme has a specific type of acidic compound in it that produces a special enzyme inhibiting effect. This effect results in lower blood pressure. Thyme also decreases your chance of getting heart disease. It does this by reducing your cholesterol levels. So how do you use it for cooking? It turns out there are a lot of ways. It can be a great addition in your soups, pastas, and sauces. Sprinkle it over your rice dishes, mashed potatoes, or vegetables. Thyme helps add a layer of flavor without getting overwhelming. Use it while baking fresh bread. It would look and taste good. Number 8. Ginger This is my personal favorite of the bunch. Putting it in your tea and coffee is terrific for those cold winter mornings. But there's another reason I love it. Try all the health benefits. It's great for your digestion and your blood pressure. Ginger lowers your cholesterol levels, improves blood circulation, and brings your blood pressure down to a decent level. Studies have proven this time and time again. If you don't like ginger in your tea, you can add it to your foods. Either way, you're giving your heart some relief. Number 9. Cardamom This is another delicious spice with intense flavors to offer. And it's good for your health. Cardamom has generous amounts of antioxidants that help lower your blood pressure. One particular study proved this. The study observed 20 adults who had been diagnosed with high blood pressure. They were given 3 grams of cardamom powder daily. It was reported that their blood pressure reduced significantly afterwards. It pretty much went to normal range. Yup, high blood pressure is no joke. It can lead to heart attacks and strokes. The scariest and most difficult part of it is the symptoms are silent. Your best bet is to stay healthy and stay aware. Here's how. Check out our video on 10 hidden signs of hypertension you cannot ignore. You can also watch our video on 8 things that are currently raising your blood pressure fast. Go ahead and click one to learn more about your blood pressure and hypertension. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Do you eat any of these herbs? Do you know if they've reduced your blood pressure? Let us know in the comments below.